In this video, we'll see how to define media in FICO, specifically dielectrics, metals and layered dielectrics. So by default, whenever you create a geometry in FICO, uh, it is created as a perfect electric conductor. However, you can apply uh, media definitions to your geometry at a later stage. So these are all of the different types of media definitions that are supported in FICO. We have um, dielectric mediums, met metallics, layered dielectrics, anisotropic mediums, uh, impedance sheets, characterized surfaces, as well as windscreen layers. In this video, we'll look at the first three topics, uh, which are how to apply dielectric mediums, uh, how to apply metallics uh, onto the geometry, metals of finite conductivity like copper, silver, etc. And we'll also look at how to apply layered dielectrics uh, to our models. So let me go ahead and open a new FICO project. So when you open a new FICO project, um, if we go to the construct tab, the second option, um, the second icon that we see here is the media icon. If we click on it, it expands into uh, a list of different supported medias in FICO. So let's say we first create a simple structure like a cuboid and click on create. So as I mentioned earlier, whatever geometry we create in FICO by default, it is assigned uh, to be a perfect electric conductor, but you can uh, assign different uh, medias to your geometry. So let's go ahead and explore the media library, which is our first option here. So this media library has a list of dielectric as well as metallic mediums and you can use them in your model by just clicking on this option which says add to model. Um, so let's go ahead and for example select a dielectric medium here. Uh, so let's say we want to create a simple um, dielectric of maybe silicone or styrofoam. You can just add that to the model and once you click on this option of add to model um, on the left under the definitions tree if we expand the dielectric you will be able to see that the styrofoam um, media has been added to your model. So once you have a media you can then apply it onto uh, your geometry based on whether the media that you have added to your uh, model is a dielectric or if it is a metal. So similarly, our second option, which is to add dielectrics. Let's go ahead and select that. So for creating a dielectric medium, there are different definition types. The most common one, of course, is the frequency independent dielectric medium, where the medium is not changing its properties based on the frequency. Um, but we also have a couple of different options like uh, the coal coal uh, definition method or the Dubai relaxation method and so on. Details about each of these definition methods can be found in the user guide. Uh, you can just click on this question mark icon next to uh, this tab and that will take you to the user guide where you can find more information or you know in-depth insight on all of these uh, definition methods. So also when we are creating dielectric mediums you can create a dielectric medium based on either the dielectric loss tangent or you can create it based on conductivity. Uh, so it's an either or situation. You either need the, the dielectric constant or the conductivity in order to create your dielectric medium. So for example, let's say we want uh, to quickly create a medium that has a relative permittivity of 2.08 and we can also define a dielectric loss tangent. Now, if the dielectric medium also has magnetic properties, 
you can assign the magnetic properties in this tab here. So by default, the definition method for the magnetic modeling is considered to be non-magnetic. But let's say if your uh, dielectric medium does have magnetic properties that need to be assigned. You can select uh, the frequency independent option here and define the relative permeability as well as the magnetic loss tangent. And apart from these things, you can also define the properties of materials based on uh, of a list of frequency and the same can be done with the magnetic modeling as well where you can create multiple points multiple frequency points and assign the data for the relative permeability as well as the magnetic loss tangent based on that so now let's see how we can apply the dielectric uh, medium or the dielectric material to our geometry. So I'm going to go back to the frequency, um, sorry, the non-magnetic option and for the dielectric modeling as well, we'll go back to the frequency independent option and uh, click on create. So we can now see that our dielectric one has been added to our model. Uh, so in order to assign any dielectric to your geometry, you can scroll down and go to the model option, select your geometry and the dielectric properties are basically applied to the region of the geometry. So we'll go ahead and right click, go to properties and for the region medium, we can define this to be dielectric one and click on OK. So you can see now that the dielectric properties uh, have been applied onto our cuboid structure right here. Um, I'm just going to delete the second option that we have so that it's not confusing. And another thing to note is um, once you change the property of the region to dielectric, you can see that the face properties as well are changed uh, to being the default, which is the property that you have assigned to the region. So your faces automatically take the property that has been assigned to the region. Um, let's say that we want to assign metallic uh, properties to your model. I'm going to quickly go back and change this again to a PEC. So in order to define metallic mediums, you have two definition methods. So either your metallic medium can be frequency independent or it can be uh, dependent on a list of frequencies as we've seen before in the dielectric uh, medium definitions. So here as well, you can define the relative permeability as well as the magnetic loss tangent and the conductivity for the metallic medium. So let's say for example we want to create a metallic medium for um, silver. So the conductivity of course will be quite high but still finite and we can quickly call this silver and click on create. So once you create uh, the metallic medium, you can find that the metallic medium that was just created has been added to the model. This uh, metallic medium can now be applied to our geometry. So for adding metallics onto your model, the first thing that has to be done is that the region has to be assigned as free space. So we'll go ahead and double click on region um, and change that to free space. So once the region is uh, set to free space, you can then change uh, the properties of the faces to any of the metallic mediums. So let's say for example, if we want to change uh, the property of this particular face, I would right click, go to properties and from the face medium, uh, select the metallic uh, 
medium that we've just created which is silver you can also apply thickness um, or add thickness to the face that uh, the silver is applied onto and click on OK. So now we can see that uh, the metallic uh, medium properties have been added to our face. So similarly you can actually change the properties of the entire cuboid uh, to silver and this basically now acts like a cuboid made of uh, finite conductivity metal which is hollow inside. Okay, so now let's go on to our third option. So we'll go to construct media and look at layer dielectric. So layer dielectric as the name suggests is uh, created by adding multiple layers of dielectrics with varying thicknesses. So here um, for example we have a dielectric one. You can add some thickness to this particular dielectric let's say 0.01 you can then click on add and um, like make an addition of another dielectric material so we can quickly create another dielectric material uh, just a sample one called dielectric 2 and this can have uh, some other thickness for example 0.02 and so on. So you can add as many layers to this dielectric as needed. Let's click on create. Now in order to apply this layered dielectric onto uh, the cuboid that we have here, we'll go to the cuboid and just change the region properties to free space. Once our region properties are changed to free space, we can pick and select any of the faces. For example, face 1. Right click, go to the properties and change this to layered dielectric and click on OK. So now the layered dielectric has been applied uh, onto our face. So to conclude, different medias in FICO can be applied to the model in various different ways. Some of the media settings are applied to the regions while others are applied onto faces and wires. And also remember that the rules for defining media vary between the different solution methods. So dielectric materials can be applied onto regions of a geometry. Uh, metals with finite conductivity can be applied onto faces. These faces must be bordering a free space or a dielectric region. And thin dielectric sheets, they can be applied to one side of a face in order to model a flat multilayer dielectric structure. So I hope this short video was helpful in understanding how to apply dielectrics, metallics as well as layered um, dielectrics onto your geometry. Thank you so much for watching.